What's y'all's favorite thing to do? How should I bring up shaving in a relationship? No, I only suck his. <laughs> she loves it. I'll wake up and I'm like, hey, get up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. We are going to be asking this little lady right here some deep questions. So as always, I went on my Instagram. That's what I asked my Instagram for. Deep questions? I thought it was awkward. Both deep oh, awkward wow. questions. So we went on my Instagram, like I always do. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Carson Johns27. Ask them for awkward questions and they delivered. You ready for this mochi? Yeah. Uh, first question. Ooh, I'm nervous. <laughs> we have what is the best thing about being in a relationship? We gotta start off, we gotta ease into them. The best thing about being in a relationship? Uh -huh. Like what's That's so a great about question. a relationship? Probably just having like a companion for everything and like going through I am so bad at answering questions. On You're great at it, baby. <laughs> I don't know, like having somebody you never get sick of. Like, like I teammate. love being alone with him. It's not not draining, but like I feel like going out is draining. Like being around certain people is draining, but like it's just literally yeah, having a teammate for everyday life. It's so fun too. I don't know. <laughs> it's fantastic. Let me tell you. What is the hardest thing that you guys have gone through together? Ooh, Ooh. I don't know. Can you think of a time? Probably just like what happened when we were on our trip and stuff. Just recently. <laughs> so, no. But hey, guess what? The good times. They want to know the tea though. The good times always outweigh the bad. Oh, That's easily. Why That's know. why I'm like, I don't really know. We haven't had like, it, hard times is never like in our relationship. It's always like. External things. It's always like outside things we have to figure out so that it doesn't come into to our relationship and between us. Exactly. But it's always like solved so easily. So It's mainly just personal things that we have to work From through From each together. side of like family or life or like certain things we're used to that like don't serve a relationship in the best way I guess. It's just Does getting used sense? to it. Combining our lives. Combining two different lives. Yeah. You just have to get used to how you're going to navigate different scenarios that are going to mm -hmm, come up. That's sure. all it comes down to. What oh, is gosh. something you struggled with the most and how did you conquer it? Like in life? Uh huh. Just in general. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my self-esteem growing up. I used to like kind of feel pretty crappy about myself when I still have my days, but I don't know. There's only one me and like I've overcome like a lot of hard stuff. I was like, well, you know what? Just love yourself because you deserve it. Exactly. I don't know. That's hard. That's a really hard question. No, that's a great answer. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, I guess. What's the best and worst piece of advice you've ever received? The best and worst? Uh -huh. Gosh, I have to think these about this These are deep, one. huh? Yeah. Low key? All right, listen, you gotta sift through them because some of these questions are crazy. Are weird. But then once really you get to some weird. of them, some of them got some deep questions. I think the best advice is like learning to communicate and to speak up for things what when you, you feel. what you feel and what you think is wrong and don't like be so agreeable with everything if you have like a strong opinion on the way you like stuff like voice it don't just be agreeable because you think you'll be more liked that way you should mm -hmm. be around people who want to hear opposing opinions right so i feel like that's good and advice. don't like you just because you have the same opinion as yeah well. and like bad advice i feel like this is kind of stupid, but it's super trendy, I feel like, for girls on TikTok to be like, if he wanted to, he would. I think it's dumb because I think if you need have needs, you need to be able to voice them, which again goes into what I just said. But like, not expecting anybody to read your mind and to voice your needs and to voice how you feel about stuff. Because nobody can read your mind, so it's kind of bullcrap. Real. Do you think people are inherently good or bad? Um, I think that goes into your childhood a lot. No, I don't think in people are inherently good or bad. I think it stems from your childhood and how you were raised and how you were brought up and the things you went through as a child because, I don't know. It changes a lot. It stems a lot. Yeah, yeah. You're at the way your childhood shapes the person you're going to be, whether that's good or bad. But like... Real. Getting a bit conspiracy theorist in this one. <laughs> conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Is the world flat? <laughs> I didn't remember the well, first day she asked me this question, I go, there's no way. <laughs> he said, please don't tell me you're degenerate. <laughs> no, I don't think the world is flat. I think the horizon is literally like, psh. <laughs> like, there's Slightly no way, bro. <laughs> How many kids you want in the future? How, <laughs> How many, many kids, kids you want, want in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Three. I do want three. Three little niggas. I always wanted two, but ever since we talked about three, I feel like now there's just like this third baby in my world. You know what I mean? And you can't like take in my them away. vision. What's your deepest fear? Like a deep fear, like my biggest fear. Let's say your biggest fear. Tanks of water. I hate <laughs> <tanks> of <laughs> This is not where I thought you were going. <laughs> 
<laughs> they give me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> We're going to the aquarium later. Yeah. Yeah. I do get so scared of the aquarium. I just like look at the water and I imagine myself being in the center of it. <laughs> it shows down my spine like it creeps me out. Now, what's your worst fears when it comes to a long-term relationship? And by the way, y'all are cute. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Monica Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, when it comes to long-term relationship, getting comfortable. I think it's like a big fear of mine or like stopping wanting to impress each other or like wanting mm. to love and date each other you know that like constant effort should never stop and I'm scared that it just like dies out and we both get complacent and bored in our relationship yeah. not really cheating I don't really care about that like if you cheat psh, that's on you <laughs> cheaters are puss <laughs> real would Abigail date younger Carson throw a picture of me on screen here bro I was just done my baby like if we were the same age <laughs> You're dating 14 year old me right now. <laughs> That's a bit predatory. That's not what I meant. Like, say you were in eighth grade, oh, I was in yes, sixth yes. grade. No. <laughs> we were both in eighth grade. Yes. Mm. The problem is, I was a late bloomer. <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, I looked like I was in fifth grade, but still. Um. It depends, because I don't really know too much about how your personality was. <laughs> hypothetically. Hypothetically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! Probably. Yeah. I don't know. If you were cool, maybe. What if I was exactly like how I was now? Probably not, let's be honest. <laughs> we both changed so much. <laughs> we did both change. I was like, yeah. We're different I probably would have eaten you alive. <laughs> What's your goal in life? Let's say your end goal. Not to be cheesy or corny or anything. <laughs> this is gonna sound really corny, but I don't have like, just wanna be happy. I don't wanna be content. Okay. I don't wanna always want more in life. Like, an end goal for me is to be comfortable where I'm at. I like that. And to be content and to not need more. I think that's a goal every single person should try for. But let's say a materialistic goal. Like, what's something you want to achieve? Well, a million dollars more. <laughs> I want to own a nail salon. Nail salon, baby. But I don't want to do nails. I want to own the nail salon and have a bunch of great nail techs underneath. And I want to teach people, like, all my employees how to be better. <laughs> <laughs> my little business owner. What's y'all's favorite thing to do? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. <laughs> We eat. We do like to do a lot of stuff. Hang out with like babies. And, like that oh. sounds really weird. But like, like hang out with cousins and like we're we super love great with kids. eating though. Food. I feel like we always like we love. I love making food and we love mm. trying new foods. Mm -hmm. I think it's like goes into like our love language in some. Literally way. any. And we bond thing. over trying new foods. Every together. little thing though, we have fun doing. That is true. Right. If, date somebody that like the stupid. The dumb things, the boring things in life become fun because you're with your best friend. Oh, oh that's loud. Real. <laughs> Let's go. How should I bring up shaving in a relationship? I also love y'all. Thank you, small super jet. What do you mean by that? Do you want your girlfriend to shave? Yeah, like is it a, do you feel like it's a hygiene issue? But then again, I don't think you are ready to have sex if body hair makes you uncomfortable because it is normal. And it goes with preference. Some people like to, some people don't like to, but you can't force somebody to want to shave. You can't force somebody just because of your preference. You can voice it and say, hey, like, but you might sound like a douchebag. Okay, now what if they do shave and he doesn't want him to shave? <laughs> For her. <laughs> <laughs> <My> man. <laughs> you like bush diving? <laughs> Oh, that boy exploring the jungle. No, um, just try and voice it, but it might come off as shallow. It, it might on where make you're your at. girlfriend uncomfortable. But if you like, if he came to me and had a preference, like not a preference, but like was like, hey babe, like your breath kind of stinks these days, you know? Well, <laughs> you can come across in a way that's not very. Yes, don't, don't make it sound like it's an attack. Exactly, don't come off attacking her because yeah. automatically she's going to try to defend herself yeah and it just depends on how you guys yeah. are in your relationship for sure but just figure out a way to like be open-minded about the conversation uh -huh. and don't attack her in it and don't like it could take she could take it offensively just be like hey i'm coming from a place of love like mm -hmm. i don't mean this in a bad way at all wow it's crazy down there <laughs> holy shit you got a bush you got one more it's down there oh ah, yeah, buddy <laughs> What was y'all's first impression of each other? We can go first. <laughs> well, he was like, 
cute dorky. He kept saying like lit and I thought it was so odd. I was like, why does he talk like that? <laughs> wow, I need this man. But we talked so much. So I was like, oh my gosh, he has so many layers to him. He's so, and he's handsome, of course. Smiley. He made me laugh a lot and he's such a good talker. First thing I noticed, right? when she got in the car, just how smiley and happy she was. <laughs> she was just grinning the whole time. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> she literally the whole way out of her neighborhood and everything just smiling. <laughs> and she got the most beautiful Sounds smile. Sounds creepy. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, it, I don't I know any other face. I thought she was the happiest person of all time. And she is. Would you cheat on each other for a million dollars? She never forgives you. So don't try that. <laughs> <laughs> Real, I would not. Forgive. I would run away. Would you cheat on me for a million no. dollars? Me neither. Hell no. Brother. That just love is so important. I feel like love. Honestly, money is so low in terms of everything else in importance in life. And I know yes, it's easy to it say that. It does give you a lot of opportunity, mm -hmm. which is where it becomes like a hard thing. But as long as you are having enough money to survive and meeting your needs, which probably if you're watching this video then money really should not And losing a love like this is not worth a million dollars. Exactly. It's only gonna go so far and you're gonna get that million dollars and be like, what? <laughs> I'm a poet. Yeah. <laughs> Real. But once you get that million dollars, you're not gonna be satisfied, you're gonna want more. So you're gonna be still not satisfied and you're not gonna have any Real. Love. So not worth it. Thoughts on sex before marriage. Let's say this at a viewpoint of someone else is asking for advice on if they should wait till marriage to have sex that's tricky because i think it varies person to person everybody has different boundaries i think it depends on your reasoning too mm -hmm. like is there a deeper reason behind it or is it just external pressure like yes. what the actual reason is behind don't do anything because you think everybody else wants you to do something but if saving your virginity is important because you want to share it with one spouse and one spouse only then that's honestly up to you and i think it's beautiful too and to not there's nothing wrong with it doing it before marriage so mm -hmm. i feel like there's Real. i feel like there's nothing to be ashamed of but i think it's person to person and just finding a partner you're on the same page with about it is very important how do you guys feel your relationship has changed you as a person. Um, maybe becoming more aware on how your actions affect other people too. Mm. And how, like, when I do things, I'm like, okay, well, this could affect me and Carson. You know, it's not just, oh, it's not just I'm thinking for myself anymore. I'm thinking for the betterment of us, mm -hmm. for both of us. And you, you know, you mm -hmm. just become less selfish and more conscious of the partner you're with. Mm -hmm. I think mine is I gotta become a lot more in touch with my emotions because mm -hmm. in the past I would have no emotions but now and I would just push whatever I feel to the side but now I feel like I actually have to express. Yes. What are your views or opinions on substance use including drinking? Oh, getting a little wicked here. <laughs> um, I think everything is fine in moderation. I think doing it anything too much is bad for you i think putting too much pressure on you that puts a lot of pressure on your brain i don't think anybody who smokes or drinks or does drugs is necessarily bad i think it can stem from a lot of things mentally but putting too much of any substance in your brain is not good for it at all nope but everything in moderation you're not a bad person if you drink you're not a bad person if you smoke every it's life it's a part mm -hmm. of life and it's human. Just take care of yourself and do it responsibly if you're gonna do it. I think it really just comes down to what your beliefs are. If you wanna stop doing it and you don't feel like it's healthy for you, that's the reason I don't do it. I don't think it's healthy, so I'm not gonna put something that's not healthy into my body in any way, shape, or form. But at the same time, some people don't value that as much and they value what you do get out of it. So it really just comes down person to person. But if you're a person who want to have substances in their life and has a reason for it, then don't vary based on what other people are saying. Just stay true to what you think and the reason for doing it or not doing it. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to do it, do it responsibly. Yes, and indeed. Take care of your brain. Real. How do you guys ensure that both of you feel heard and understood in the relationship? I feel like this one comes easy to us. I really think it does because I think communication is a big thing, but also communication is nothing without comprehension. So you have to hear it. <laughs> okay, my bad. 
we've gotten better at yes communicating but also understanding each other and knowing that we're not coming from a place of wanting to attack the other person but more so like i want you to understand that i'm coming from a place of love and that you hear me and that i'm not trying to harm you in any way bro but okay. communication and okay, comprehending it yeah be open to what the other person mm -hmm. is saying and learn to communicate in a way that's not going to make the other person close yeah don't attack defensive. don't call names just listen try to what to they're say, saying Oh, I feel like this because mm -hmm. of this. Exactly. Or not, you did this. No, I feel like this. Like, right. that's an attack. That Just say, hey, I feel like this because this happened. What makes it work? Why do you guys keep going even if it gets hard? Because we all know it is going to get hard. Mm -hmm. It always gets hard. Don't get into a relationship if you think it's going to be like a piece of cake. I don't think relationships should be like a constant battle. Mm -hmm. The good should heavily outweigh the bad, especially in dating. Obviously, once you get married and stuff, you're going to have new challenges. The more you date, new challenges pop up, different mm -hmm. challenges. But learning how to work through challenges from the beginning in a healthy way will like create a good base of your relationship. Has Carson ever given you the ick? No. Oh, I'm surprised. You just weird ick. stuff. <laughs> No, unfortunately, we're past, I mean, not unfortunately, unfortunately, the fortunately, break. we're past the stage of icking. I don't think it's possible. I really don't think it's possible. If we were going to ick each other, it, it would have happened a long, a long time, time ago. Time. We are way past that point, my boy. <laughs> Definitely. How did you guys get over your first big argument? Communication. Yeah, Literally. but there was never like a huge fight. It was always just misunderstandings. So like mm -hmm. talking about it. I feel like talking is such a huge part of a relationship. You have to be able to talk with them. Stop if you assuming. can talk with your partner. You trust your partner to be honest about the hard things. You're setting yourselves up for success easily. Easily. Well, it's not easy. Communicating is not easy, but it's a like very good. It's a good Again, skill to learn. It's a yes, skill. It is. At the end of the day. What do you guys think is a healthy amount of <laughs> doing it with your partner? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> doing it. Oh. That's so it person to person base there's not like there's not like a it depends one size fits all amount and you cannot look at your relationship and look at others people's relationship and be like oh don't compare your relationship ever. to anyone but if you're because then you'll be like oh these people are doing it this often what's wrong with our relationship mm -hmm. do we not love each other do they not find me attractive it's you're going to spiral into a whole bunch of different things some people are more sexually active than others some people are Naturally. more sexual and that's fine but you have to find somebody again who matches you on the same level. You guys are on the same page, you know, talk about it. Can she lift you off the ground? <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Go. <Wait. laughs> no, you can't do your back. That's a freaking cheat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Strong little lady. All right, we got one more. Wait, one fix more. It. Holy oh. freak. The final the best question, one. best question out of all of them. Y'all suck each other's toes. <laughs> Is that really the question? <laughs> yes, I'm not lying. Christian's a dog, bro. No, I only suck his. <laughs> she loves it. I'll his wake up. Uneven toes. I'll wake up. I'm like, hey, get out. <laughs> I told you no, no more. No, we don't suck each other's toes. What the hell? Hey, that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace.